for coming back uh, to the discussion and going back once again to our guest who continued to be with us on the broadcast. Shama, I'll come back to you and let you finish your point. But it's only fair I also bring in Manujit Mandal of the TMC into the discussion. He's been patiently waiting. Manujit, it's a historic day. Uh, but TMC, do you think there is a lot of cross-voting that has happened, I believe, uh, from the state of Bengal as well? Um, how do you see these developments? Well, I really wonder why you do bring me now. I mean, I've been waiting for 40 minutes. Uh, but you know, I have no complaints. This is a historic day. My party has been given a less chance by your channel, but we are not going to complain. Uh, we hope that, uh, sincerely hope that uh, Madam President uh, lives up to the expectations of uh, not just the tribal population, but the entire country. Uh, our, you know, Supremo has already congratulated her. Mm. Uh, everything, everything is in the public domain. Mm. Uh, but, you know, the BJP is, I think, uh, highly politicizing the whole issue, and continuously uh, uh, bringing up, uh, what should I say, it's a narrative of glorious condescension that look, we have we have made tribal a president. Mm. Uh, but the fact remains that if you look at the record for the last, you know, five, six years, uh, the maximum number of atrocities have been actually perpetrated against the Dalits. I mean, look at what is happening in UP, what is happening in... Uh, do you in, in do you want Gujarat, to share some facts and state. figures as well when you make that assertion, Manuji? Uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, yeah, absolutely. You don't have to. You haven't given me much time to do that. No, no, that. no all but yours. You, Please you, go ahead. I'm not going some, to interrupt you. Some other time, you go go to the NCRB data. Look at look look at how Dalit women were raped in uh, UP, hmm. despite the fact that we did have a Dalit president uh, in the central. I mean, I mean, look at look look around everywhere. I mean, why? Is, is go to go to Gujarat, go to you know Madhya Pradesh. Now they are ruling there. I mean, I do not have to say that. Even in the state of Odisha, hmm. even in the state of Odisha, why hmm. Madam you know, President is coming. Hmm. I mean, these things are just lip services. I mean, can some of some of us remember readily the, the, the name of the social justice minister in this country? Who is the social justice minister in this country? Who okay. will have more Manuji, power to actually... I think I've given you a fair time. Please allow me one question that I want no, to no, ask no, no, you. No. Please allow me one question, an interjection, and then you can further go ahead. Somewhere the opposition was stammering. You have, we've seen a huge amount of cross-voting that has happened because, of course, the whip is not applicable. TMC as a party, as the dominant party in the state of West Bengal, has always made an effort to reach out to the Adivasi community, to the disgruntled community, to make sure they have cultural and political rights in the country. Let's presume this is a symbolic gesture, as you're saying, for the sake of the argument. Shouldn't you have supported this symbolic gesture? Is there a rethink somewhere? That's what I want to understand. I think Mamta, this statement is there for all of you to see. Hmm. She was not even consulted, right? She is, I think, one of the senior most politicians, uh, one of the senior most you know, national politicians in the country who worked with Rajna Singh Lee, who worked with uh, LK Advani. I think I do not have to talk about her shape or history as a politician. Hmm. Was she consulted? She, she made it absolutely clear. Or had it been consulted beforehand, you would have definitely considered. And and very she briefly, do you want to do you also see. briefly want to comment about the stand that the TMC has taken as far as the vice president elections are concerned? I think I think I think I think I think our our national president, uh, general secretary, Mr. Abhishek Banerjee, who hmm. is I think rising like a star in Indian politics, he has made it amply clear in the you know, yeah. press conference that again in this type part of the story, we were not really consulted. Only after the meeting held mm. by the opposition leaders, uh, Mamtadi was, uh, was was being contacted. That's, 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 what, that's, that's what is there in the public domain. I mean, okay. these things don't happen you know, overnight. Yes. But Anusha, don't, don't make it, uh, this you know, untrue representation that you have given enough time to my party. This company will be there, but I'm not going to complain. No, no. Manoji, I'll come back to you. I'll give you another minute. Let me bring in Sanju Verma as well into the discussion. Uh, Sanju, the allegation that the political opponents are putting on you is that you're politicizing this choice too much. You know, Anusha, We've been debating this issue now for the last 20 odd minutes. Yeah. I don't think I spoke ill of Yashwan Sina. Not I don't all, think yeah. I spoke ill of anybody from the Congress or the TMC. I was focusing on the historic moment of the first tribal leader and the second woman to occupy Raisina Hill. But now that the opposition has decided to politicize this, I will take 30 seconds and just tell you. Hmm. This whole narrative by the TMC that Mamata Banerjee was not consulted, excuse me, everybody from the opposition was consulted. YSR Congress decided to support Draupadi Murmu. Uh, Hemant Soren decided to support Draupadi Murmu. AIA hmm. DMK decided to support Draupadi Murmu. Biju Janata Dal decided to support Draupadi Murmu, uh, including, uh, you know, Every faction of the Shiva Sena decided to support Draupadi Murmu. 
Hmm. So please, the point I'm trying to make is Draupadi Murmu has come out as not a polarizing figure, but as a figure that has united various sections of the opposition. And Arusha, she will go down in history to be the president to have garnered more than 73% of the electoral college vote. Because and, till now, the highest has been 67%. And, and I think that... And, and Sanju, I, I, and she will Sanjou, also go Sanjou, down Sanjou, in history. Sanjou, if you look at her tenure Sanjou, as a... Sanjou, yeah. That the Modi government always talks about. Sanjou, Sanjou, for us, not just the slogan. She was a very assertive governor. She talk. has a stellar we administrative experience. Talk. And uh, that also tells us that she will be a president who will guard our constitutional and we values. Are the talk on Sapta, I, I also want to briefly bring in Mr. Sanjay Kumar. I'm short of time, Mr. Sanjay Kumar. Uh, Draupadi Murmu clearly is not a polarizing figure. That is why we have seen so much of cross voting that has happened. Going forward, beyond symbolism, what is the kind of statement which is being made? And how do you see this journey ahead, not just for Draupadi Murmu and the choice, but for BJP as a political party as well? Uh, I think it would be too early to make any judgment about how the tenure of Draupadi Murmu is going to be as the yeah. president. Yeah. Uh, enough has been talked about how she performed as the governor when she was the governor of Jharkhand. Mm. I think it's too early. Let's not speculate whether she's going to wear a rubber stamp or, or how she's going to uh, protect the constitution. I think let, we should wait and watch. Uh, we should look at her track record and we should expect that she would be the mm. watchdog of her constitution. Absolutely. Mr. Sanjay Kumar, Mr. Pratim Rajan Bose, Manujit Mandal, uh, Dr. Shama Mohammed, uh, and uh, also uh, we had from the BJP, uh, Sanju Varma. Thank you all for joining us on the broadcast on this historic day. It's a day to celebrate. Yes, there are political differences, different political parties in this thriving, vibrant democracy. But after 75 years, we have a tribal president. And this is the defining image of the day. Draupadi Murmu, after crossing that magical figure of over 5 lakh votes that she's got into the Electoral College, will be sworn in by the Chief Justice of India as the next president, the 15th president of the independent India. We leave you with these images. Thank you for watching.